What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Logan the Empress, doing a 2023 natural makeup beat for you today. Starting off with the foundation. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. It's going to be in the shade Manus. I think it's D1 or D7. I'm so sorry. I, like, literally have used it so much that the label's, like, coming off. And then coming in with my concealer. It's LA Girl Pro Concealer. My very favorite concealer. First, I start off with Toast which is much closer to my skin tone. And then in the corner of my eyes, I like to use a, a little bit lighter um, concealer, and that's going to be a suede concealer in GC961. And when I apply this, I like to apply this to the inner corners, right in the corner of my nose, and then to the outer corner of my eye, doing like a triangle method. I learned this to try to um, really lift my face and hide those dark circles. When I blend, for sure, I'm always using a makeup brush. I do not use a makeup sponge. I've had so many traumatic stories with this makeup sponge and blending this concealer out. And not this concealer, just concealer, period. So when I tell you, do not use a damp beauty blender. Go in with your brush to apply your um, concealer. And so now I'm going in with Patrick Star One Size Beauty in the um, setting as uh, my setting powder in the shade Deep Darkest, carving out my cheekbones, getting chiseled, getting ready to slay the day. Now I'm doing my nose contours, pretty much self explanatory. Um, this is like my updated 2023 nose contour, and I really like to have like somewhat of a chisel nose, but as you can see, my lines are not super thin because I do not want to erase my nose because there's nothing wrong with it, but I do want it to look chiseled and sculptured, and then I like to apply setting powder on my nose, letting it sit, and then I'm spraying my my face um with setting spray, my Charlotte Tils uh, Tilbury setting spray. And then next thing I'm going to do right immediately after that is I'm going to do some blush. So I like to use eyeshadow for blush. I particularly don't buy blush. I use eyeshadow or I'll use a lipstick, something that I already have because, you know, I like to keep my coins in my wallet. I'm not a big blush buyer, but I do use blush, if that makes sense. And I like to do apples on my cheek, always with this like acid, crazy smile. It is what it is. And then I'm highlighting again with this acid crazy smile and that's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you follow me give this video a big thumbs up. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.